What other names do you think are really terrible for babies? I think, like, Greg, you can't do it. Um, Steven? I don't know why. I don't know where Steven's come from. But is it Greg or is it Gregory? See, this is, yeah, this is what we're talking about. I feel like if, because, like, very few, if any, people are out there, like, actually named Greg, right? Like, it's almost always short for Gregory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I feel like Greg is a, Greg is, like, at best, like, Mm -hmm. You got to be in like elementary. You you have to make that choice. You have to be old enough to have decided yourself. I'm going to be a Greg. Greg. Greg is Greg is somebody who's trying to have sex. That's the thing. Yeah. And, and like babies are not. <laughs> yeah. By definition. <laughs> Every person you've ever met named Greg is trying to have sex. <laughs> this is a terrible way to start this out. Oh, Greg Lord. is a man who's not having enough sex. That's what it is. I mean. Uh, and so, yeah, you know, but but like my point is just that, like, I feel like Gregory is how you're going to introduce your child. Because, like, uh, when we're talking babies, right? Babies don't introduce themselves. As far as you know. Greg is how you introduce yourself. Like, I'm Greg. <laughs> and I feel like I feel like you're not going to have uh-huh. Gregory. Okay. I, I feel like, or rather, I feel like Gregory is, is what the baby is uh, going to be all called. All right. So, this brings up another question. Or like, what are the names where parents name their child something and they're like this is great and then they they get hit by the nickname like mm. they didn't expect it and it's too late they've already filed the paperwork well sure. anyone named richard automatically gets hit with dick and if True. they're mm-hmm. if it's weird yeah. enough they get hit but with what the... about their nickname alex what about their nickname <laughs> it's hard to get hit with dick i understand but no no then you get the weirder one which is dicky dicky's fun though Dickie's cute. You think? I would hate to be called Dicky. I would, I'd feel, I wouldn't be able to not laugh whenever I introduce my kid. I mean, Dickie's great, especially if your father, your family's like a little alcoholic. That, I mean, that, that, that's what that reads <laughs> is, you know? Hey, Dickie, get me another beer. Exactly. That's just great. I thought you meant if the baby was a little alcoholic. Also <laughs> that. <laughs> then, then it's just cute. You know, there's that esteemed rapper of much acclaim. I mean, he, he does fine with his... With his Richard nickname. That's true. That's true. That's right. Little Dickard. Mm -hmm. Little Dicky. (laughs) Is that his actual name though? Or did he Uh, like... Dickard? Yes. (laughs) I I thought Dickard was the the hero of Blade Runner. (laughs) Yeah. See, as a a herald, I really have to to promote the old fashioned names, the traditional names, the Richards, the the Gregories. I I know I'm throwing a lot of shade out here, but I'm actually a proponent. Well, I think that's the really interesting thing to consider is that I feel like there's a lot of names that like... And I know this has happened before, but I feel like there's a lot of names that are probably just going to sort of fade out Uh because we all consider them old people names now. Adolf. Yeah. So like, well, yeah, you know, you got that. (laughs) That Uh, I was thinking more like Doris. I can't, you can't, like, I feel like in our generation, correct me if I'm sure there are some lovely 20 year old Dorises out there. I mean, uh, but I feel like in general, most of us sort of look at like the name Doris as an example, as being this sort of very old lady name. Like that's, that's not a name that we think of for like children and i'm just saying i i hear you i hear where you're coming from Uh as a herald i have to say i'm sure (laughs) somewhere out there there's a super charming doris who's really making it work you know who's really like flesh it out no and and if she's out there make sure to email me at helixmissionary at gmail.com yeah if you're out there find brian help him brian's boring i mean brian's normal no no one's worried about brian yeah yeah he needs a door in his life to spice things up brian's just one of those names that doesn't like it's such a language specific name it doesn't translate there's no like other language forms of brian it's true brian you are who you are oh brian when your name shows up at TSA, it doesn't ping anything, right? Nothing like, mm-hmm. no alarms go That's off. That's true. No, yeah, because it's, it's too, I mean, maybe in like the 90s it would have because of the IRA. Mm-hmm. Remember back when we were all real worried about the IRA for no reason? Yeah, yeah, back in the fifth grade when I was like, oh man, the IRA. <laughs> Alex, do us a favor and say Brian in Spanish. Brian. Yeah, no, you can't do it. It can't be changed. Briano. (laughs) Brin. Brin. I hated it in high school. I took German and they're like, oh, your German name, John, your German name is Johan. I'm like, if I go to Germany, I'm going to tell them my name is John. John. The name doesn't change because they speak a different language. It doesn't make any sense. We're stained with our English culture. I know. It's terrifying. It's, It's horrible, but it is what it is. I remember looking up. I, I took French in high school and I had to look up like, what, what's the way you say Alex or my, my like full name in, in, in French. Mm-hmm. And I looked it up and one of the suggestions that came up was Sasha. 
Mm. Yeah, uh, in in French and I think German also. Yeah, uh, yeah. A, a very popular nickname for Alexander is Sasha. For sure. I like spoke to my French teacher and I was Sasha for a year. There you go. Nice. Sexy Alex. Very sexy. It, uh, it definitely didn't awaken something in me. Yeah, Sasha. Yeah. When I was in high school and I took French, uh, everyone was doing the French names and I had to stay with fucking Brian. Because <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't tra- there's no other versions. You stay across the Thames, Brian. You didn't become Brion? <laughs> Brion? No, because that's not at all a French thing. What about Brie? Brion? Brion? I, you could say it that way as a stupid joke, which is all we do here, so that works. <laughs> Brion? Brion? Brion. All right, you start calling me Brion, Brion? I'll start calling you Sasha. Brie, Brie. Brion? John is Johan. Harold, what do you want to be? Uh, let's see. Yeah, just like Alex, I, I went off to a foreign place and I, I also put on a fake name for a little while. Are you Geraldo? In Spanish land, I am Geraldo, but in, in Israel, I was Avi for a little while. Oh, Avi. Yeah, I did I did Avi for a little while. It was cute. It was real nice. Welcome to Two's Talks with, with Sasha, Avi, Johan, and Brion. Wow. <laughs> Brion? This became a very Brion? different Brion? podcast very, very quickly. It's amazing. Isn't that nice? It suddenly sounds a lot more official in some right. ways. Yeah. It feels like we're about to talk about the, like Adidas brands or something like that you know i feel like we're definitely reaching to a wider audience immediately this is a new fast cash financial podcast suddenly hello everyone we're the hosts of two weeks one shot and this is (laughs) maybe this is uh this is still two's talks somehow a podcast inside a podcast inside your ears where you now where i'm gonna make you pilot a giant robot and i'm your father and also the robot's your mother and but also the other person that rides the robot is kind of also your mother and eventually everyone's just going to become sunny d at the very end gundam was way better get in the podcast shinji yeah get in the podcast shinji (laughs) where we and this is the show where we the aforementioned hosts of two's cast talk about our dumb names in different languages uh say hi say hi uh Geraldo or Avi. Hi, I'm Geraldo, also known as Avi, and I haven't been called those names in so long. So please, when you email me your your criticism, you use those names. I don't mind. You remember, you can email all your criticisms to twoscastmail at gmail.com. Don't everyone get up at once. <laughs> you know, in high school, they just started calling me John. So my name, my name's Jonathan, and now I'm just stuck with this forever. Yeah, man, you're stuck. Copy that, baby boy, Jonathan. We'll call you that from now on. Yeah. Please don't. All right, baby boy. I'm Brion. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, he is. You could also call me uh, Helix. That's my new, it's my rad new version of that name. It's uh, Helix. Are you like my evil <laughs> cousin or what is yeah, this? Yeah, it's, it's like I, I listen to a lot of Lincoln Park. Oh. Ooh. Nice. That's good. Sounds like a typo. Yeah, it does like a verbal typo that's happening. My God, the the helix is uh, here to help you out. You just added an extra L. Okay, yeah. I'm uh, I guess I'm gonna stick with the theme. I'm Sasha. Ooh. You gotta say it like that. You gotta add some some stank at the end of it. Some Sasha. Sasha. Some, Sasha. Uh, some zip. Ooh, I like that. Harold looks really comfortable whenever I say Sasha. Uh, I don't know. Sasha feels like he's about to put something in my drink. I don't know why. <laughs> First of all, you said it wrong. Sasha uh, is going to put something in your drink. The vocal fry at the end is key. It might be the the, the name with with the t shirt you're wearing too. I don't know. If, I don't know if the viewers. Yeah, can... Alex is wearing a very deep V right now, and I love it personally. It's, it's the deepest fucking V I've seen, dude. Oh, oh, it can go deeper. That Watch is this. scandalous. Watch this. I enjoy a very deep V from time Jesus to time. Look at that. Bro. Look at that. Ivy is too shallow. I, I need to adjust. I'm getting you a little bit of cleavage here. I haven't seen that chest here in so long, man. It's It looks it looks good. Thank you. I cultivate. Do you find it like in your age? Are you getting less furry? Are you patchy now? I don't I don't need to know. You don't need to answer these questions. I'm, I'm patchy upstairs, not downstairs. Okay. Okay. I'm glad we put that out on our podcast. That's I good. feel like any guy named Sasha, Sasha needs to really be rocking the chest hair. Yeah. I feel like that's uh that's part of the that's part of the character. The, the chest hair and the V-neck. The chest hair and the V-neck. Thank you so much, Alex. I'm glad the theme of this episode is just talking about our weird names and my chest hair, not that's the good. other thing that John wanted to talk about. No, that that's that's the show. We we established this. Listen, last time that I had something that I wanted to talk about, John brought in chaotic. For like five minutes, solid. Yeah, yeah. So. Less time. Brian got to talk about what he wanted, and I wasn't here. And you guys kind of went on this little tangent about something, 
and I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just bringing this up to show that that it's uh-huh. that it's not always me, guys. It's not always me. <laughs> yeah, maybe my person's tempers things. Harold, I feel bad that you weren't here. So real quick, uh, how do you feel about Elf Breeding Farm? Uh, I don't know. I, it makes me want to call that guy from Dateline, Brian. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a reasonable response. What did you have to talk about today, John? <laughs> um, I, I made... Did you come here expecting Elf Breeding Farm? Take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't prepare that. You know, uh, I, I run the, the Twitter for the show a lot, so I'm on there, Humble and I see, you know, I often see uh, <laughs> the hashtags, I'm like, what the hell does that mean? So, uh, you know, I created a game for y'all. Um, I collected just a couple of hashtags over today uh, that I saw, um, and it has like, I, I wanted to say it has a clue, but not, it doesn't really have a clue. Anyways, I'm going to go, I'm going to tell you the hashtag. And I want you guys to to try to tell me what do you th- why you think it's trending. And welcome to my game. It's called Hash Why. Ooh, this is good. Can we add like or can we add like some fanfare to it? Can I like if I like <laughs> insert the music? Yeah, we need like a cool like uh like Family Feud style. Uh, I want laugh track here. <laughs> yeah, like let's get some laugh tracks. Let's get like some Family Feud style like uh, intro music going uh, on. Like uh, come on down, uh, play the uh, game uh, the uh, stars uh, play. It's Hash Why. Hash Why. This is great. This is great. I feel like this would be like, like the, this is the Twitter class I never took as an underclassman. This is fantastic. The, oh, yeah, the okay. Twitter class? The Twitter class? As an undergrad, excuse me, as an undergrad. Underclass is... <laughs> oh, man. It's not a thing. Uh, I, okay, I also have uh, pictures accompanying for when we get to the correct answer in the reveal. Do you have a way to share these pictures? Did you print these pictures out or are they on your computer? Because that's not as cool. Uh, yeah, I'm going to throw saw them through the, the, the Discord. Okay. And right. we can tweet them out as well. I don't know. Uh, if, if, depending what they are. <laughs> All right. First one up. Okay. Uh, where, where is hashtag titter? Oh, I know this. I know this. Hashtag titter. Okay, well, you go last, okay. Harold. You go last. I read current events, guys. The Economist. Read The Economist. T-I-T-T-E-R. Alex, go ahead. Um, okay, this is a hashtag promoting uh, dyslexia or misspelling. I don't know if dyslexia encompasses misspelling. Okay. Right? Okay. It's, or, or, or it's a hashtag promoting the phobia of W's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is, is, was it all started by someone whose W key wasn't working, maybe? Oh, that's right. Awareness for broken W keys is also one. But I'm <laughs> mm-hmm. going to say it's the phobia of W's because that sounds okay. more entertaining okay. to me. Broken keys are, are near and dear to my heart, specifically the W. There's stuff where it's like people go, hat is titter, but it means what is Twitter? Mm. Right, because they're but they're afraid to use the W key. They've they've okay. they've super glued a crucifix onto that W key because they can't <laughs> dare to look at it. You're all looking at me really weird. So yours is yours is the awareness of the fear of the letter W. The awareness of the fear of the yes, yeah, that's right. The awareness W phobia. What phobia? What 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 phobia? Yep. Which is really hard for people who have the phobia <laughs> to say. Yeah, that's, it's it's a really rude name to give to it. What phobia? All right, Brian. Why? What do you think this is? I mean, I don't. Twitter yeah, has yeah, yeah. weirdly like both more and less uh, censorship of certain things than other platforms. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's getting a little warmer. So like, so like the idea of like titter uh-huh. does make me wonder if this is just people posting their tits on Twitter. That would be nice, right? That would be nice. So you can still see nudity on Twitter. It's one of the benefits. No, like, and that's what I mean is like Twitter is both weird, is like has a weird policy of being both more and less accepting of that sort of thing. For sure. Like, I think it's allowed, but they don't promote it. I know that every time anything tangentially related to certain groups comes up, they post on it and it's always sex shit. I just love that we got Brian talking about pornography on the internet one more time. It's good. Continue. One more time. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just keep it going. Hey, you can't stop me. Welcome to Two's Talks where Brian's just a fucking degenerate. <laughs> this, apparently this, is entra- this whole show is entrapment to make me look like a worse person than I even actually am. It also shows that you guys aren't watching the news, guys. Come on, there's like two things happening right now. Like three, but come on. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm in the show for fiction being ignorant <laughs> wait okay is brian brian what is that your answer okay hold on so so harold's given me a clue 
two things happening right now. Uh huh. It's the year of two, two things, twos. Come on. Oh, ooh. Ooh. it's on brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, there's the whole there's the whole Ukraine thing going on. Okay, we still care okay, about yes, that. There's one. Uh, yeah, there's something. But I feel like Titter doesn't have anything. To do. <laughs> is Titter something to do with the whole Elon okay. Musk thing where he's trying to buy Twitter? Is that what this is yes. about? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yes. There you go, buddy. How could it be? See, you can feel it out. You can feel out the world if you just put your hands out. You can see what's going. Oh on. my god, we're dating this episode immediately. So hopefully it airs soon. But what is so, Harold? You you know something about this? What is what is this about? Or if Harold knows the answer and tells you and breaks the game? <sighs> yes, of course. Yes, of course. What day is it? Can we should we like post it uh, today? Of uh, the current news is that Elon Musk is out as the. Uh, on the board of Twitter, because now he's planning to buy Twitter and he's polling Twitter all the time. Things like, should we do this? Should we do that? And one of the polls was, should we drop the W in Twitter? Yeah, and people have been photoshopping. Uh, fo- photoshopping. No, no, no. You said photoshopping. <laughs> photoshopping. It's Twitter a, too, it's a the photoshopping. <laughs> uh, they've been photoshopping the Tesla T onto the Twitter logo and then just removing the W. And so that that's what's been <laughs> trending. And then I also did see a Twitter bird that somebody drew boobs on. What? So so this is just, I assume that the W is just another like weird Elon Musk thing. I'm so glad Jonathan brought in current events when I was shot down. Yeah, yeah. Can I, can I get a <laughs> clarification? I need a clarification for this game. Are we, sure. do you want us to give like sincere answers to what this is or like dumb shit answers? I mean, like I'm I mean, trying yeah. to fucking give. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And Both of them. Yes. Because because Harold's over here like, Ugh, you fucking der- derps. You don't know what's actually happening in the world. Well, I, Harold just like said straight up. Yeah, Harold, Harold just knew what it was, so that's fine. Harold, you're competing against everyone, by yeah. the way. All right. And then you just gave it to Brian. I do compete. I mean, you did You did make this a game. You did make this a game, so I did start competing. So All right. That is, that is my... That is my nature. Yeah, Harold wins and apparently I lose because <laughs> yeah. you guys all got to shit on me yeah. for talking about the realities of the internet. That's one for Harold and zero for Brion. In your defense, Brian, I did see someone also Photoshop the Twitter bird and they drew uh, boobs on. That is nice. It was like paint, like Microsoft Paint. <laughs> I mean, thanks, thanks, I feel internet. like that's naturally <laughs> what should happen to the logo if, if the name becomes Titter. I feel like that's an obvious choice. Man, okay. Jonathan, the way that you are holding your arm is just yeah, really, really disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> the virtual background of John is just taking away the lower half of his arm entirely. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, no, it looked like you were like an amputee. Yeah, yeah, it was it's very uh, strange. It's making me very yeah. sad. All right, listen. To clarify, there's nothing wrong with amputees. It just looked, I know that John is not one, so it was really bizarre. Confusing. What's the next hashtag? Okay, next <laughs> next one. Because we blew through that one so fast. It's watching hashtag Alex brave meat. Sweaty. Harold, shut up. Okay. Hashtag watching brave Alex meat. Realize in real time what he needs <laughs> yeah. to edit out. None of this gets edited out. It all stays. And oh it, no! Sorry, John. What were you saying? Because we can't stop talking over one okay. another. The second hashtag is hashtag brave meat. Mm. Brave meat. Why was this trending? Okay. And Harold, you get to go first this time. Okay, I don't know what this one is, but I uh, I know I know how to feel. Quick, around. everyone, shit on Harold yeah, now. Do. I, I I I know how to feel around current events. I am a creature of mine of my time and environment. Uh, so. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. It has to do with uh, um, uh, fake meats, impossible meats. Uh, some companies rolling out a new uh, sandwich, and people think it's controversial. All right, Harold says it has to do with veggie meat. Veggie meat. Uh, veggie My meat. All comes right. From meats uh, and mushrooms. Uh, Alex. Why don't you take the next step? Okay. Um, I'm gonna keep my trend of fun answers because y'all trying to be real. Uh, uh, I, I think I don't know what the point of this game is. Yet. <laughs> I don't know either. Are we supposed to? Are we competing? Are we, are we trying to get yes, points? Yes, you're competing. You're comp- everybody. Oh, what gets- do I get if I win? What is the point of anything? Yes. Okay. We're we're getting points. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't, really didn't explain it. Who's keeping track? I'm not. <laughs> what was the? What I was don't the nobody at this point. I don't. I thought fun meat, brave meat, brave meat. Brave, brave meat. meat, brave meat. I know what fun meat is. Oh. Hashtag um, brave meat. Hashtag brave meat. Okay, I think. I think this is uh, someone meant to write rave me at uh, and then accidentally put a B at the front of it. But this is a super secret rave calling for a worldwide underground rave Mm. uh, where you need to also be brave Mm. uh, and meet them at somewhere. 
So if you if you figure that out, the rest of the tweet makes sense. That's so maybe nice. it's just like hashtag brave me, but then it's like some fucking coordinates. Uh, and then if you go there, there's a fucking there's a rave and you must be brave. And then me at that place. Cute. That Cute. sounds pretty real. I'm 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 killing it at this game. Yeah, that, that's that's <laughs> all right. Very secret. Rave. And then if you uh huh yeah, tell me uh, more. Figure out how where the rave is and what the secret message is. You get to upload your consciousness into a virtual reality. And then reality you start playing game. chaotic, right, Alex. <laughs> yeah, right. Because that's a real that's thing a that's real happening thing. in the world. <laughs> I'm never gonna live that down. Because all I no, thought was it was stupid not. and arbitrary, not a real thing. I hate you guys. <laughs> What's your answer, bruh? I'd like to pass because you guys are going <laughs> to shit on me for just making the obvious joke again. It's true. It's true. <laughs> That's the game. Come on, bruh. Uh, brave, brave meat. I feel like Harold. Make the penis joke. Go for it. Probably isn't all that far off with like the impossible meat thing. I almost wonder if it's just like a new brand mm. of like impossible mm. burger or whatever is, is like this is brave meat. Um, alternatively, I feel like it could be the exact opposite route and it's people posting like brave meat that they're brave to just eat meat and like, fuck <laughs> you if you don't like me eating meat. I'm brave for doing I it. I was going to say, yeah, if I, if I was like a hot dog uh, manufacturer, I would think I would try to like, mm-hmm. we'd be trying some rebranding right now and be like, our, yeah. our meat's yeah, possible. Okay. Yeah, it's super possible. Which like is, is one of those views where like it's, it's someone trying to come out and be like, I'm so counterculture going and like, no, you're not. You're you're literally the most play like basic version of culture. Everyone eats meat. Like it's not it's not weird to be like, I eat meat. Like, no, that's just like I eat meat. They're not special. Society's wrong, not me. <laughs> okay, so 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 what do you say, Amber? What, what's your what, what's I'm gonna your... I'm gonna go with that second one. I think there's a okay. bunch of I, I feel like it's very plausible. That there's a bunch of idiots on Twitter being like, look at me. I'm so brave for actually eating meat in this day and age when everyone tells us not to. Like no one's. All right. There's so few people doing that. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sending you in the chat. I thought you had an interval. Uh, this is actually something that uh, Slim Jims <laughs> what the f- has been pushing. <laughs> oh, so, Okay. I'm not sure why, but that's a part of their ad campaign. What does it accomplish? That's their ad campaign, and it started trending. Go, 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 go. Let's get Brave Meat to number one trending. But what is it, what is it accomplishing? What does Brave no, Meat I, do? I bet, it, I, bet it's, I bet I'm right. I bet it's their like, way of being pushbacky against like all the faux meats and being like, hey, we're still good. We're still, you got to be brave to that eat this. That is not what you said at all, Harold. That's, and exa- that's, what, that's what I said. I'm trying to take your answer. All right. <laughs> Harold's doing the equipment. Equivalent of the Price is Right, where they bet like a dollar above the one the other <laughs> price. So who wins? Who gets a point? I have to take this to the Council of Johns for a minute, minute as I uh, deliberate. No, they've been disbanded. Uh, no, no, we haven't. We, we let you think that. <laughs> You've only gone underground. Do you allow Johans in the Council of Johns? Uh, <laughs> all right, let me deliberate. And uh, as a reminder, uh, the person with the most points at the end of the game does get Brian's younger brother. Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> do you have a younger brother? Why do we get him? Why is he on the table? Yeah, why, why do we get him? What does that mean? He's the prize. I'm sorry, Michael. I didn't realize you were being brought into this. Jesus. I don't want your brother. All right. And, you know, it's it's got to be Brian by a nose. Uh, he gets the point. That was my idea. God damn it. it, it because it is, you know, Slim Jims are very, they're pushing themselves. They're like, yeah, they're, me, they're we're awesome. Very much me. Like, uh, yeah. So and Brian, that's kind of what Brian was saying. I mean, well. well, actually, ding, I don't. Ding, ding, there better be ding, ding, dings. Okay, Alex. I'd clarify Slim Jims as meat. I'd, I'd qualify <laughs> them as meat, but like barely. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. I mean, the pig parts party, the industry of pig parts must be freaking out right now. What are, you, what are you supposed to do? Slim Jims are certainly closer to me than like impossible meat is. I'm sure. So I'm sure it's got to be. All right. All right. So, okay, I so have... right now it's one Harold, one Brian. Excuse yep. me. It's one Avi, one Brian. Well, that's yeah. right. One Avi, Brian. one Brian. <laughs> <laughs> one Brian. One Brian. All right. Now the next one. Next one. Uh-huh. Possibly last one. How I don't know where the recording is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Possibly this is the last one. All right. Yeah. Last one for the game. You know, I should have you know, had more so that you there could actually be a winner. But, you know, worst case, you cut them in half. So, anyways, hashtag Dicky Nut. This goes right back to, it's full circle. It's, we're back to Dicky. It's a little Dicky. Yep. Yep. This is for our, our great artist, um, the, the sage of our time, little Dicky. Yeah. Uh, Brian will go first this time. I'm sorry, Harold. 
Dicky okay, Nut. Fine. Dicky Nut. Can I get a spelling? Uh, yes. <laughs> Can I get D- a language of origin? <laughs> <laughs> yes. D. Uh, your spelling is D I C K E Y. N U T T. Oh, the spelling of Dicky is surprising. N U T T. Hold up. All right. Dicky Nut with two T's. I feel like this is a name. Is there someone out there named Dicky Nut that Twitter discovered? I feel like that's got to be what this is. There's someone out there. It, it truly is full circle. There's someone named Dicky Nut. It's Richard Nut, but they go by Dicky. Dicky Nut. Twitter discovered this person exists. And they cannot stop talking about them okay. because that's an exciting discovery, honestly. All right. So Brian is saying that Twitter found out that this person exists and they freaked out. And much like young Doris, Dickie Nut, if you're out there, email yeah. me. Hit me well, up. Well, hold on. Don't, maybe, I want to know more. Maybe we figure out what it actually is first. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying if there's someone named Dickie Nut, like, please get in touch. Harold, you're you're the this next up. Well, well shit. Okay. I mean, to, to continue to price is right. Brian, a little bit. Um, <laughs> you son of a bitch! It's a winning strategy. You can totally do that. I think it's, I think it's, it's in reference to uh, to a man or a woman or a trans person named Dicker Nutsty, um, <laughs> who's probably having a hard time, is having a, a, a controversial story, who's probably been pushed into the limelight, doesn't want to be there, having their life publicized and made fun of, and their name being dragged through the sand. I mean, it's terrible. I can't believe we're doing it now. We should leave them alone. Leave Dicker Nutsty alone. Harold, you didn't price is right by answer. You just added more detail to it. You should be ashamed, Brian. You took what I said and just put more on it. I think we're all better after this conversation. It's, it's different <laughs> enough, I think. So, no, no, no. Listen, because Brian, you're saying that there is a person that's just a normal guy, normal <laughs> whatever. Well, they could be they could be anything. I didn't I, I don't want to qualify <laughs> or classify Dicky Nut without knowing about who he, she, they are. Okay, but you, no, you were saying that that th- that this person was discovered and then is pushed to trending because of their name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose the big difference is I'm saying their name is Dicky Nut. That's what they're known as. Whereas Harold is saying this is <laughs> Dicker Nutstein, and, no, no, no. and they're now being <laughs> made fun yes. of. Yeah. So you know, okay, Brian, Society's you're saying terrible. that this person has been pushed to trending because of their John, name. don't put Dickie Nut in my mouth. <laughs> Harold is saying that this person already had this name, but they are being pushed into trending because of some scandal that they were involved in. Yeah. Dickie Nut is a hero and deserves a respect. <laughs> okay. Alex, what's your answer? I don't want to price is right it. That seems... <laughs> you, already, you already did that twice. I know the, the comedy is the rule of threes and it's still funny, but... Oh, oh so man! Reverse, reverse. On here, it's the rule of two. Yeah. Uh, Sorry, the devil isn't funny. Fuck! Um, God, shit! <laughs> damn it! Um, God, Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut. Maybe if I just say it enough, it all. Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut, Dicky Nut. They say if you say Dicky Nut three times, then Dicky Nut appears before you. Oh, he's behind me. Um, they're behind me. It's behind me. Uh, okay. Uh. I'm going to say it's uh it's a verb. It's the cool new thing mm. that the kids are doing. They're fucking dicky nutting. <laughs> I don't like that at all. They're dicky nutting in the Alex, school. We're too, no, they, look, let Alex, me finish. We let are me finish. too old to talk I'm about so the kids. Let me finish. Things. Let me finish. It's so nice. Let me finish. It's liberating. So people really. are listening. There are 30 people that listen to these. Uh, look, dicky nut, dicky nut. It is it is the new it is the new trend. I'd like to apologize to those 30 people. It's the people. new trend is sweeping the nation. It is on Dateline. <laughs> it is on CNBC. They're doing a 60 Minutes about it. Dicky Nut. Uh, there's like five kids dead from Dicky Nutting oh, no. out in school. Uh, and 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 uh, I feel bad for those kids. You don't. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm you sorry. don't. You're laughing. All right, Alex. Alex so let me, let me give you the 60 Minutes treatment real quick. So like. So, so describe the process of dicky nutting. Okay, you go to, you go to the store. You buy uh, assorted assorted pecans, and you go home, and you uh, you lock the door, and you get a belt, um, um, and then you and then you open up the nuts, and then you you uh, you use the belt to lock the door, and then you sniff the nuts, but like, it's like pressed on your mouth and then you just like hyperventilate into the nuts and and you scientists say that you experience a euphoric feeling um and then you then you die from it i guess (laughs) 
then, <laughs> then you die. And six kids have done this. That's the right answer. That feels like the right answer to me. <laughs> I didn't get too specific with it at all. And that's how Sasha orgasms. Oh, so no. Uh, okay. So, so John, what's Dicky <laughs> not all about? That's what I said, right? <laughs> if Well, if you check the Discord, uh, oh, Dicky Nut is in fact a man. Lame. Oh my, oh my God. God. Coach Dicky Nut. Uh, coach Dicky Nut is going to be will, will he will be hired as an assistant coach uh, for Missouri. I don't know. I, I think is it. I think it's basketball. Uh, yeah, and that's so I also provided a photo of Coach Dicky Nut, and we can share that on our Twitter. Oh my God. All right. All right. The man, the myth, the legend, Dicky Nut. He seems like a very fine Dickie man. Nut. And Brian wins again. He's uh, yeah, I'm gonna give that one to Brian. Brian, you get to keep your brother oh today. Oh God. Yeah. That well. Thank, thankfully. Next time on Hashwi, we'll see where Michael ends up. All right. Yeah. And that's our show, everybody. Uh, we have a theme song that's been used now in two things, and I bought it, so I don't... You bought it's, it? It's by a guy. Nice. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it. I bought the rights to use it, so you should be hearing it right now. It's... Doop, 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 doop. That's not how it goes. Well, when when do we get the mascot to go with it? I mean, it really kind of sounds like we need like, Ooh, yeah, like, yeah, a, uh, like a cool duck in a in a raincoat. I feel like yeah. our mascot has to be Coach Dicky Nut. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Get in contact. Hashtag free Dicky Nut. Um, Dicky Nut. <laughs> now I said it earlier. Just get in touch, man. Get in touch. Yeah. Dicky Nut, call me. I'm sorry, Digger Nuts Dean. I try to stand up for you. Check the show notes for links to everything we're doing. Where we're doing this. We're doing uh, uh, some other lame ass show where we play one shots every two weeks that's the really the main show this is this is garbo i don't know why but you're wasting your time with this listen listen don't don't let us ruin the great work that we've already done yeah yeah you you did this we did this but you did this uh and you know if we made you if you made you chuckle or if we made you confused or if we made you fear for your safety as you were listening to this uh go ahead and jump on over to patreon.com slash twos cast that's t-w-o-s cast and give us two dollars and you you when you do that you can let us know we should stop uh but until you do that we're not gonna stop bye (laughs) bye good night (laughs) no one else said bye that makes me feel weird we love you dicky we love you dicky nut (laughs) 